Hi, Robert Brown here, and welcome to this video. Listen, today, very, very quickly, I just wanted to talk to you about goals and why some people achieve goals and why, why some others don't. Um, even if people sort of, you know, diligently um, write down their goals, an awful lot of people that do that still do not um, achieve those goals. And why is that? Well, my own particular feeling for this and theory for this is that purely and simply it all comes down to self-image. Okay, you, you basically, if we take the, um, if we look at a human being, both on the spiritual level, the subconscious level, and the, uh, the conscious level, we could draw an iceberg. Now the tip of the iceberg represents around about 10%, okay? Now that 10% you can think of in terms of your conscious mind. And the remaining 90% is your subconscious mind. So let's say that you're consciously writing goals down and consciously you're, you know, you're, you're, you're saying to yourself, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and you're gonna get really, really excited. You go to a seminar and you get really, really ramped up with enthusiasm and everything else. A lot of the time this is happening on your 10%, your conscious awareness, your conscious mind. But let me ask you a question. What happens if in the 90% that represents your subconscious, all the programming that's going on within you at a deep, deep level, what if all of that stuff is, is saying things to you that is uh, uh, effectively sabotaging everything you're trying to do in your conscious 10%. So in other words, you know, I feel terrific today and uh, I'm healthy, wealthy, powerful, prosperous, healed and whole, all that stuff. And your 90% is saying, well, no, you're not, you're not wealthy. Um, you know, you've got fiver in your pocket and that's it, you've got nothing else. And uh, well, you don't feel particularly good today and um, blah, 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 you get my drift. What it means is that you cannot, you cannot address this situation just from a purely conscious level. You have to really commit to finding ways to reprogram your subconscious, the way you work on an inner level, so that your subconscious mind is no longer sabotaging what you're trying to do on a conscious level, but is in fact supporting it. Okay, now there are lots of ways to do this, but one of which is affirmations. Now affirmations need to be said over and over and over and over again. You can't say an affirmation once or twice a day and expect it to make a difference. What you have to do is you have to say it over and over again, even silently to yourself until it runs almost like a little tape loop in your subconscious. It will become ingrained. And every time you, you find yourself thinking a negative thought or saying something negatively, you can run this tape loop, run this positive affirmation over it so that you're hearing that and not the negative thought. Over a period of time, this will change your outlook and it will change what you're, you're attracting into your life and it will also attract, sorry, it will also change your uh, results for the better. But let me also tell you that if you've spent the last 20 or 30 years kind of being negative, this also isn't something you're gonna fix in five minutes flat. You need to make a commitment now that you're gonna change. The great news is, that decision is absolutely yours. You are at cause. Everything else is an effect in your experience, in your external reality, in your physical world. Therefore, if you make the decision that you can change things, they will change. But you have to make the decision and you have to back it up with commitment and you have to follow through. So do me a favor, don't just watch this video and switch off. Go away now, get a piece of paper and draw out an affirmation for yourself. Work it out, something that fits you, inspires you, and motivates you. My own personal favorite is, I am happy, healthy, wealthy, powerful, prosperous, healed, and whole. This or something better for the greater good of all. I always affirm for others, and I will always get back tenfold for myself. I hope this video has really, really helped you, given you food for thought, but more than that, has inspired you to take action. Get the pen, paper, do that exercise now. Start changing your world today. Do it now. See you soon.